Welcome everybody to a brand new Let's Play Soft Porn Adventure by Sierra Online Systems. Uh, <clears throat> this is a very, very old game uh, <laughs> from the early years of Sierra, and this is what Leisure Suit Larry 1 is based on. Um, actually, on the box for this game, it has a very young Roberta Williams in the hot tub where you can see some of her exposed boobies. So, <laughs> uh, I don't own that game. I'm kind of afraid to purchase something that says soft porn and uh, have it come to my house. Okay, no, we're not loading a save file. Okay, so... I'm in a sleazy bar. Behind the bar sits the bartender. A sign hanging over him says beer, 100. Whiskey, $100. That's a lot of money for a beer and a whiskey. Or, in this case, beer! Whiskey! Okay. The place isn't furnished too well. A curtain hangs on one wall. There's a button on the wall next to it. A fan whirls slowly overhead, moving the stagnant air around. Well, let's order... Whiskey! Just like in the Least Shoot Larry game. I give the bartender $100, and he puts it on the bar. You might want to take the whiskey. I've got it! Okay, at this point, if you look, there was two ways we could go in the bar. North and west, okay, to the other areas. So, let's go west. I'm in a dimly lit hallway. The paint is peeling off the walls, and the floor hasn't been cleaned in months. Cockroaches run across the floor. Jumping as a loosely installed light bulb crackles and flickers. An old desk sits pushed against the wall. A businessman sits on a broken chair. Seems kind of drunk. Can we talk to the man? Nap. <laughs> man. Don't know how to talk to something. Okay, so we can't talk to him. Couldn't remember if we could or not. I don't think you can talk to really anybody in him. Can we look at man? Nope, just lets us look again. Okay, well, in this case, he is drunk. So, there are things. Now, one thing, if you look, it says items in sight are a desk, flowers, and a businessman. So, we want to take those flowers. Okay, and since he's drunk, let's give him the whiskey. You can only hold seven items at one time, so this is a good way to get rid of stuff. The guy gives me a TV controller, just like in Luigi Suit Larry. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Womp. Okay, so at this point, we need to probably make sure we take the control, because if you look, it's just item in sight. You did not take it, so make sure you take unit. Okay, so now we have both items in this area. So, if you look, we can go north and east. So, let's go north. Because we are now in a bathroom. The stench is unbelievable. Graffiti is all over the walls. Cockroaches don't seem to survive in this place. Their dead bodies are strewn everywhere. The sink's faucets are broken. In fact, the sink hangs from the wall by its rusty plumbing. A toilet sits in the corner. Looks dangerous. Well, let's save. Yes. Okay. Uh, death. So let's flush toilet. You're nuts! Oh. Use toilet. Huh? Poop. You don't know how to poop something. Okay. So I guess we can't die like in the other one, even though it says to look it looks dangerous. Uh yeah, because it has a wash basin, graffiti, a mirror, and a toilet. Okay, so I guess we really can't. So, let's look in the basin. <laughs> What's that I see? Oh, if you look, items in sight, we now have a wedding ring. So, let's take the ring. Okay, and now let's look at the graffiti. The password is... Belly button. So, com <laughs> computer freaks peek before they poke. Ooh. <laughs> Ask ye and ye shall receive. At my IBM is where I sit when I feel like fondling its bits. I'd like to nibble her floppies. 
Okay, so the password is belly button. Okay. So now let's go to the south and to the east. Okay. So if you look, items inside are now a bartender, a button, and a curtain. So let's push the button. What's the password? Uh, belly button. The curtain pulls back. If you notice, we now have another way we can go. So let's go to the east. I'm in the back room of the bar. There's this big dude in here with me. He's wearing a button. I can't see what it says. Maybe I should take a close look at him. Stairs lead up to the second floor. There's a TV in the corner also. Now I get the feeling loitering is not encouraged here. So let's look. Big dude. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't want to take a closer look. Okay. Well, at this point... Let's do TV on, which is doing the remote, to... Let's look at one. A masked man runs across the screen. Jumping up, he lands on his horse and yells, Hi-ho, plutonium! He rides off into a green sky. And nothing like a good old western to pass the time. Change the channel? Yes. Ooh. It's the Price is Right, and now for our favorite host, Haunty Mall. Haunty jumps up on the stage, he asks, and who's our first lucky contestant? The announcer points out a lady. The crowd screams in ecstasy as she's dragged to the stage. Uh, let's see here, let's, um, let's do three. Captain Jerk looks at the door from which behind the noise is coming. Throwing open the door, his face turns a deep red. He says, Scotty! What are you doing? Scotty replies, But Captain, my girl and I, we're engaged! Captain Jerk commands, Well, then, disengage! And the starship thrusts forward, penetrating deeper into space. So yes, let's change the channel. Let's go ahead and go on to the one we need, which is six. Cable TV, they're showing the kinkiest X-rated movies. This one's titled Deep Nostril. The pimp likes this one. He's engrossed in the action he sees. He seems distracted now. No, do not change the channel. Okay, so now let's go north. Oh, up. <laughs> the pimp takes $2,000 and says, okay. I'm in a seedy bedroom. There's a hooker in here also. The bed's a mess and the hooker's the same. The room is painted bright pink and the ceiling is covered with mirrors. A sign says, take precautions, the clap could be fatal. To the north is a sliding glass door. It leads to a balcony. Ugh. So let's, uh, if you look, we have a funky hooker and candy. So let's take the candy. We've got the candy. Okay, we're not, we don't want to have sex right now with this person because... It just gives a big old warning that you need to have precautions, and we do not have any precaution right now. We will die. So, we don't, and it's not like an immediate death, I don't think. Let's, let's find out. Um, let's see. Do hooker. <laughs> okay. Use hooker. Okay, I guess, let's see. Have sex. Sex. Um. Okay. Well, I don't really know how to do it, so we're not gonna die, I guess. I don't remember the buttons to make things happen. Uh, okay, so we have the candy. So let's go north. <laughs> don't go there. Do me first. <laughs> north. Uh, interesting. I'm pretty sure you will die. Matter of fact, I know you're not supposed to do it. With, <clears throat> But I don't know why it's not letting me refuse. That's an odd thing. Okay, I've gone back to the main room with my money still intact. Because if they're going to... I don't remember it being that way in one of the older versions I played of this. Um, that I was going to do a Let's Play a long time ago. And I decided not to do it back then, so we're back in there with our money, so I can just, you know, get a whole bunch at the casino. 
So, we'll come back and do that later. I think it shouldn't be an issue. Um, the best I'll try the best I can. So, we're going to go north to leave. I'm on a sidewalk outside the bar. A couple of strange dogs wandered around. A cat is crotched in the entrance wa watching the dogs. Some paper blows by from the overfilled garbage dumpster next to me. I just missed stepped on a dog's calling card. The dogs looked at me. Hope they don't think I'm a fire hydrant. Well, let's look at the sun. It says, Hail Taxi. Hmm. Let's go um, south and see what we have. Oh, it goes back in. So, north. There's a, it says, is there a dumpster? Uh, it doesn't let me do that. Okay, I think because you have to fall in it, which is what you do in the game. <laughs> in Leash Suit Larry 1. So, at this point, let's hail a cab. Taxi pulls up and screeches to a halt. I get in the back and sit down. A sign says, we service three destinations. When asked, please specify, disco, casino, or bar. The driver turns and asks, where to, Mac? Well, uh, at this point, we want to go to the casino. I'm on a downtown street. People from all walks of life are milling about. Cadillac limos and Mercedes sports cars drive up and down the street, bringing gamblers to and from the casinos. To the north, a sign says, Use our services to enter the blissful life. The driver says, That'll be $100. Let's pay him. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. So, we need to go in. So, let's go to the east. Okay, I'm in the main casino room. Row upon row of slot machines fill the room. The bells of the machines clamor as winnings are paid out to the winners. The police cart off the losers. Vagrancy is not tolerated here. Vagrants are exterminated. Keeps the crime rate low. But everyone seems happy here. Hmm. Let's save. Yes. And let's do slots. Okay. Oh, not a slot something. Hmm. I'm sure. I thought you just used the slots. That's that's really all it was. Let's see. Hmm. Well, poo poo. Huh. Let's try bet. Well, let's see here. We can go... Let's go to the east and see what happens. Hmm. I'm in the main lobby. There's a stairway going up to the hotel desk. The only other exit leads back to the casino. Over in the corner is a flourishing plant which sits in a pot. Couches and tables are also in the room, as are other items one would find in a lobby. The lobby is empty. Everyone's gambling. So at this point, hmm, I don't think that's really where we need to go yet, but um, let's go back west, let's go west again, so that's outside, east, and let's go north. I'm in the 21 room. Tables for playing blackjack are everywhere. The noise of people winning and losing fortunes fill the room. Table stands in front of me. The dealer waits for me to join in. People gather. They want me to gamble my fortune away. A voice within me says, go for it, fool. Um, let's save. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So... Bet. Um... Play. A playful bugger, eh? Okay. Play cards. You know what? I think I figured it out. 
try this. There we go. Of course. Let's see. No, I don't want to take a hit. Sweet. No. What I want to do is save. Winning. Okay, now we're in business. How much do you want to bet? Let's bet 2,000. House limit's 1,000. Okay. Delta 7. So we have 17. He has a queen. I'm not going to take a hit. Sweet! Ha 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 Play again. No. I'm going to save. And save under the fail one. And then play 21. You need a lot of money. Three, six. The total's nine. I want to hit. Uh, no. Holy crap! How is this possible? <laughs> How are we doing well? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this should not be happening in this game. Uh, now it's fake. Oops. Uh, I want to bet a thousand again. Okay, nineteen. No. How am this? <laughs> I need at least at least five thousand just for specific things that we're doing in the game. So we just need to keep going on this. Are you sure? Yes. Did it again. Fail. Play 21. But you want to bet? 1,000. Oh, my total is 17. Somehow the dealer lost again. Okay. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more. And I'll come back. I don't want to... Um, sit here and... Uh, show like me doing this forever. Well, it certainly did not take very long to get where I needed to get to. I did lose a couple times and had to get back there, but I think 11,000 should be okay. I wish gambling in real life was uh, this amazing, but um, it's, it's not really, usually. So Let's um, go back out of here. So let's go south. No. South. No. Okay. I was like, uh-oh. Okay, we're back in there. So... East. Okay, we should be where we need to be. Go east. Go up. I'm at the registration counter of the hotel. A sign says, NO VACANCY. There is an elevator next to the counter marked penthouse, private. A button is next to the elevator. The smell of perfume fills the air. The sexiest blonde you've ever seen stands behind the counter. I'd sure love to ride her. Uh, can we examine blonde? She's wearing the tightest jeans. Wow, what a body. 36, 24, 35. This girl's derriere is sensational. And the shirt, see-through. And what I see, I like. As my eyes reluctantly roam from her body, I see bright blue eyes and a smile that dazzles me. I think she likes me. Ooh. There's really not a lot we can do right now with this, so we'll come back to her uh, in a little bit here. So let's go to the west. Okay. I'm in a hallway. Doors line each side. Most have do not disturb hung on the doorknobs. Waiters from room service pass by bringing food and drink to the hotel guests. An ashtray stands next to the wall. South is the entrance to the honeymoon suite. Um, we need to take the ashtray. We need that. Why can't you take it? Because I don't... Wait, wait a minute. 
That's what I need to do. Okay. We need to take the pass card. There we go. We now have the pass card. Okay, so let's go east. Then back down. Okay, we're in that lobby. And then west. Back in the slot machine room. And then we're in the streets. No cab. And we want to go to the disco, I think. Let's go to the disco. I'm on a sidewalk. To the north is a fancy doorway. The entrance to the disco club. An old bum sits by the entrance. He's definitely seen better days. The guy really looks tormented. To the east is the pharmacy. Apartment houses and homes line the rest of the street. The driver says, that'll be 100 bucks. What shall I do? Well, we need to pay the driver. Okay. And we can go north or east, and at this pace, <laughs> this time period, we want to go east. I'm in the pharmacy. On one wall sits a magazine rack. A sign reads, this is not a library. No reading. A pharmacist sits behind the counter. Kids stop and buy candy. Others buy newspapers, cigarettes, etc. A mirror to protect against shoplifting is mounted in the corner. What shall I do? Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy a condom, damn it. The man leans over the counter and whispers, What color? Platt. And for a flavor. Choco chip. Lubricated? Yeah. Ribbed? No. He yells, This pervert just bought a planned choco chip flavored lubricated smooth rubber. A lady walks by and looks me in disgust. It was like, looks at me in disgust? <laughs> Did we get it? Okay, we have it. <laughs> I was like, okay. So we do have the rubber. So let's look at the rack. What's that I see? Oh, uh, there's a porn magazine. Of course. We definitely need to do that. So let's buy the magazine. Oh, let's, let's see what happens. Let's read the magazine. Oh, God. I just keep thinking it's a Sierra game. Bad things will happen. He takes $100 and gives me the magazine. Damn. Damn. It's a lot of money for a magazine. Mmm. It's an interesting magazine with a nice centerfold. The feature article is about how to pick up an innocent girl at a disco. It says, shower her with presents. Dancing won't hurt either. And wine is always good to get things moving. Hmm. Interesting. So at this point, We've done what we can do in here, so let's go to the west, which is back on the street, and go north into the disco. <clears throat> okay, I'm in the entrance to the disco. Pictures line the entrance way, showing the happy singles who attended their club. Singles pass by me into the club. Couples wander out, kissing and making eyes at each other. <clears throat> the door is to the west. The door has a sign on it. Let's read the sign. It's not here. Of course it's not here. Uh, so it, <laughs> it's about how things have gone at this. So let's um, show the pass card. A voice asks, pass card. I search in my pockets and I have it. The door opens. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the west. Okay. I'm in the swinging singles disco. There's a crazy DJ playing the newest hits. The dance floor is filled with guys and gals doing the best steps in town. The crowd is really getting into it. Everybody's having fun. There's a table to stand at over by the dance floor. Sign at the table. Wine. $100. We've got $100, so let's buy that wine. The waitress takes $100 and says she'll return. Awesome. There is a girl, though, so let's look girl. What? Did the game freeze up? Oh, it's still... Okay. 
<laughs> I was like, what? Poor service! Okay. Wait, what happened? So I guess I have it now. <laughs> it, uh... Let's take the one, see what happens. Okay. Whatever, we have it. That was weird. I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to that. So, let's look at the girl. Cute and innocent. Just the way I like my women. Oh. This girl's great. She has a beautiful California tan and pert little breasts, a trim waist, and well-rounded hips. I dream about getting this nice a girl. I hope you play this game well enough so I can have my jollies with her. You can make your puppet a very happy man. What shall I do? Well, let's get flowers. She blesses profusely and puts them in her hair. Oh, well, 70s. <laughs> so, let's give candy. What? You don't have... Oh, shit. Oh, God, you have to have that first, even though I couldn't go out to the thing. <sighs> Uh, well, we're in the middle of this, so burp, let's go out. That sounds like the bathroom from earlier. Um. Okay, so we should be. This goes entrance. Okay, so there's the bum. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to take a cab. cab. Uh, we're gonna go to the taxi. Or to the bar. I hope I've got enough money. Uh, the idiot cab driver backs over me and kill me permanently. So we're dead. Um. <laughs> Well, poop. So stay tuned for part two in which we uh, complete the game. I'll go back and get the candy um, and meet you back here at the disco. So this has been Sax Cat 20. I hope you've enjoyed because we did.